By the end of this tutorial, you should learn how to use the image picker component to choose a different photograph and to display them in your app. Let's get started. Hi everyone, my name is Donald and I want to help you build better apps. In today's tutorial, we're going to learn how to use the image picker component to get a photo or get a picture from your app and display it on the screen. So to do this, what we're going to do is add in the image picker component. It looks just like a button um, or the list picker as well. In fact, the two are very similar. So if you want to learn more about the list picker, check out the previous video I've made here. On our screen one, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the horizontal alignment here down to the bottom like this. And that means my image picker will be down here. So it'll be easier to see and easier to use. Uh, so it's a little bit easier for you guys to see in the testing. What I'll do is make the font a bit bigger. And I'll just change the text here to pick image like that. So this is a great component then if you want to uh, have the user upload maybe their own profile picture, if you want them to share an app, share an image then with, with other people, maybe in a kind of a social media style app. So this is a great component to be uh, aware of and to know how to use. The other thing is then when we wanted to preview this image for the sake of this app, I'm going to use an image component. So into my UI folder, I'm going to set the height and width here to be a full parent like uh, this. So that's it in terms of our design. We'll keep it nice and simple as always. And then uh, let's go and add some functionality in the blocks editor. Over here in the blocks editor, then you can see the image picker one is very similar to the list picker. So uh, what we're going to do is uh, use the after picking event to display um, the picture that we've chosen in the image component. So we go to image picker one and we can find then uh, we can change some of the physical properties of it, so what color the little button is and stuff like that. And the main thing then that we want here is uh, not the image, so we could use, um, again, we could use a little icon here, let's say we could have a little up arrow if we wanted it to be an upload button, but what we want is the selection, what the user has selected from the image picker. Uh, and that's it, and it'll get displayed in the uh, image component on our screen. So let's have a look, let's preview this in our live test. So over in the live testing then, we've got a button at the bottom of the screen that says pick image. Let's click on that. And what we get is a whole list then of different uh, images and stuff that we can use. Let's open up our pictures here. Let's grab this picture of my laptop. And once we pick it, as soon as you choose it, it gets displayed on the, on the app itself. Okay, so what we can do here, pick another image, go into our pictures folder. Here's a nice cup of coffee. There you go, and it gets displayed on the screen just like that. So image picker component, as I said, very simple to use, uh, very easy then to integrate into your applications. Let me know in the comment section below, how would you use the image picker in your application? I'd be really interested to know what you do with this uh, sort of component in your app. If you like the video, don't forget to click the thumbs up. You can see more videos by clicking on the subscribe button. And I look forward to reading all of those comments in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.